Then how about we give them a match they weren't expecting? Well, if you keep boring everyone, pretty soon we're going to have an empty arena match. <laughs> I was thinking something more along the lines of no DQ. You know what? I'll take that and I'll do you one better. I know you've only been in Memphis for about a year, but I think everyone will agree that's a year too long. So how about we make this a no DQ, loser leave town match? Come on, Crossword. What are you saying? It's fitting your last match in Memphis is going to be in a baseball stadium because you just made the biggest error of your life. Oh, come on. That was just as good, if not better, than one of his lame jokes. Oh, shut up, Ribby. After I send Lawler packing, I'm going to eat you for dinner. All right. Let's do this, crossword. Crossword, crossword, crossword. each other in just about every type of match except for one that also happened to be on the list wrestle in a crybaby match and since you had the first and only crybaby match with razor ramon back in the day this was the perfect time to cross it off Well, you lucked out again. Hey, it's not my fault Samoa Joe is such a big fan of softball. Assuming Braun Strowman doesn't end up in jail for whatever he does to Joe, you're going to face Braun again at Money in the Bank. Well, actually, before Money in the Bank. You're putting the Universal Championship match on the kickoff show? Not exactly. The only way I can guarantee Samoa Joe won't be involved again is if your match takes place before the show when the doors are locked and no one else is in the building. It's going to be an empty arena match. Hey, at least this won't be my first empty arena match since I had one before against Jerry Lawler. When was that? Oh, it was in a dream I had, but still, good practice. Speaking of dreaming, I'm gonna go rest up for my big match. Later, Vipes. I mean, Mr. Raw General Manager Randy Orton. <laughs> <laughs> Trey's giving it everything he's got to take down the monster among men. Braun with a power slam. Hold on, it's Samoa Joe. He was hiding underneath the ring. 
Braun just snapped that back like it was nothing. Roman counters with a boot to the face. Here's the cover on Trey. Two, three. It's over. Braun Strowman is your new Universal Champion. Finally, someone else caught a break for a change. And Samoa Joe is now realizing uh, what transpired. And he is not happy, to say the least. Oh, boy. Set up for a power bomb. bomb. Not done yet. Oh, not no. again, not again. A third time. Is this it? Is Trey going to somehow pull this off? Trey has the Undertaker in the hearse, and he closes the door. Trey has defied all odds to defeat the Undertaker. This definitely quiets any doubts that people might have had about Trey's legitimacy. I'll admit it, I had those doubts, but what Trey did tonight was truly impressive. Maybe this guy's the real deal after all. Trey, you are gonna face Velveteen Dream in the first ever No DQ Spotlight match, where in order to win, you must steal your opponent's finishing move. Now, how have you prepared for this unique stipulation? I haven't had to. I've used his purple Rainmaker before, but he's never used my finisher. And on top of that, I might have another trick or two up my sleeve, because you never know when you might need it. From the top turnbuckle. Another big move! A couple of months ago, Trey hijacked an NXT broadcast, desperate for the spotlight. Well, after this huge victory over Velveteen Dream, he's now earned it. I don't think it was his plan from the beginning, but it certainly worked out in his favor. Just yet. He's got that loaded fanny pack that Trey used earlier. What are we witnessing? Is this some kind of strange sign of respect from Velveteen Dream? It's almost like he's putting the championship around the Trey's waist. That was certainly bizarre, but nonetheless, a huge win for Trey tonight. So, Red, you said last week you wanted new challenges? Well, I have one for you. You're going to defend your women's championship in the first ever best out of five team match. It will be a one-night series of singles matches between Red, Trey, and your buddies The New Day, taking on Becky Lynch and her savages. If Red's team wins the series, she retains her title. If Becky's team wins, she is the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Big E goes for the big ending. Sheamus counters. Bro kick. This could be it. The win, more importantly, the series is now tied up at a win each. Going down 2-0 would have been a disaster for Becky Lynch and her savages, but now it's a whole new series. Finn Balor lands hard. Finn might be hurt. Yeah, it looks like he might have tweaked his knee. Wait a minute. What's Pete Dunne doing out here? Well, maybe he wants to check on his teammate. That's why he's here. And Finn Balor suddenly recovers. He's going to the top. Coup de gras. It's all over. Was Finn Balor ever really hurt? Or was this just a setup by Becky Lynch and her savages? This is unbelievable. The entire series just turned on that interference. Hey, what was I saying earlier about team cohesiveness? That's exactly how it pays off. And now Becky Lynch has the opportunity to beat Red and win it all. Trey and Drew trading blows. What a headbutt by Drew McIntyre. And the ref goes down. We've seen just about everything tonight. Wait a 
second. It, is that who I think it is? It's Samoa Joe. We haven't seen Samoa Joe in six or seven years since he was fired from WWE after a shocking loss to Trey for the Universal title. Well, apparently he hasn't gotten over that. What the heck is that? It looks like some kind of enhanced arm. Like Samoa Joe wasn't deadly enough already. Unbelievable. This is shocking. I cannot believe Samoa Joe is back. I know, after all this time, I never thought we'd see him again. And he just broke Trey in half. And now Drew McIntyre covers Trey. It's all over. Becky Lynch and her team has won the best of five series, and Becky is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. It looks like Trey's gonna throw up. I don't blame him. Not only did he lose the series and Red Championship, but the nightmare that is Samoa Joe has returned to terrorize him. I'm back, and they're coming. I'm honestly stunned at what we've just witnessed, and so is Trey. This is going to send shockwaves throughout WWE.